This year, the first time Hall of Fame contender spotlight shines upon the St. Louis Rams offense, known as the greatest show on turf. More talent right here than played in this game at any time. Two-time MVP Kurt Warner led the franchise to a pair of Super Bowl appearances and its first Super Bowl championship in the 1999 season. Warner's talented supporting cast included receivers Isaac Bruce and Torrey Holt. Together they combined for 11 Pro Bowl selections and one of the best receiver duos in franchise history. Their high octane show was driven by the big man up front and the Rams boasted the dominant offensive tackle Orlando Pace who was called for holding only 11 times in his 13 year career. Great job by the offensive line again. The spotlight also shines on a pair of running backs who electrified the era, Edger and James and Jamal Lewis. We saw the Rams and the skilled players, but there's also some offensive linemen up for the first time. The class of 2015, John Jansen, Kevin Mawai, we saw Orlando Pace, Chris Samuels, and Trey Thomas. So you see the list right there of the first-timers. And with that, let's bring in some Hall of Fame voters from the state of Texas. Shereen Williams from the Fort Worth Star-Telegram and our good friend John McClain from the Houston Chronicle, a Cowboys camp, and Texas camp. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. All right, now, we just saw the list of the first-time eligible offensive players. Shereen, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you make a case for one of those guys to get in on the first ballot? Steve, it's been a really long time since we've talked about a quarterback, but I really think that Kurt Warner needs to be talked about. Right or wrong, fair or unfair, quarterbacks are judged by Super Bowl championships and how they do in big games. Just ask Tony Romo that here in Dallas. And he was his best. Kurt Warner was at his best in the biggest games. He went 9-4 and four in the playoffs. He had 31 touchdowns, 14 interceptions, 102 pass rating. I don't know that you can do much better than that. The three best passing games in Super Bowl history all belong to Kurt Warner. And you want to go back to the regular season, we could do that too. Two MVP titles. Only seven players have ever done that. I mean, this guy was just remarkable. And I know, I know what the naysayers are going to say. What about the middle of his career? But I just think the beginning of his career and the end of his career were so good that you can't overlook him. I mean, these were two downtrodden franchises. The Rams had had eight consecutive double-digit loss seasons, eight and ten seasons, double-digit loss seasons. And the Cardinals had seven before he took those two franchises to the Super Bowl. These were really bad teams, and he got them to the Super Bowl. So I just think you have to talk about Kurt Warner and what he did with those two teams and turning them around and kind of forget that middle part of his career. And it's not his fault that he didn't get his first chance to start until he was 28. That's the NFL's fault. All right, Serena, I love the argument. I grew up when the Cardinals were in St. Louis. I know how bad they were. So, Kurt Warner, getting them to the Super Bowl, absolutely should get serious consideration. All right, John McClain, state your case. Well, first of all, I want to say something about Kurt Warner. During that middle part of his career, he was mentoring Eli Manning, and I bet you Eli Manning would give Kurt some credit for where he's what he's become in his career. But if it wasn't for Orlando Pace, the quintessential uh, left tackle who protected his blind side, Kurt Warner wouldn't have been in one piece and had all those great games. They were loaded with talent. Pays 13 years. He only missed four games, seven Pro Bowls, all decade. Like Jonathan Ogden and Walter Jones, we voted them in on the first ballot. I feel strongly, Shereen and Steve, that Orlando Pace will make the Hall of Fame on the first ballot. What more do you want in a blind side left tackle? All right, good cases right there. Guys, I'm going to make my case for running back Edron James. This is a guy who's rushed for 1,200 and 200 plus yards. Okay, he's 11th all time. Eight of the guys ahead of them already in the hall. The other two, Jerome Bettis and Ladanian Tomlinson, they can get into the Hall of Fame. Look, Edron James has more than 15,000 combined yards, 430 three catches. And one thing about Edron James that people always said, he never took negative yards. He had a running style where he always had positive gains. So we're talking about guys who did the little things, like a Kurt Warner and Orlando Pace. I think Edron James should absolutely get some consideration.